Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and today's episode focuses on the class of 1971. This yearbook is dedicated to the assistant principal, George Motts, and it is also the first year of Robert Collins as principal at HHS. HHS had been integrated somewhat for a few years, but this year there was an increase in busing. Federal District Judge Ben Krentzman enforced a federal level of integration to meet the requirements of Brown versus the Board of Education. This is a major societal shift, but the school year seems to begin with very little tension. In the fall, the Washington Redskins practiced at HHS. Lightning struck the clock tower during the Leto football game at Hillsborough High School. In order to maintain open campus privileges, the students cleaned up the neighborhood around the Big Red. are some scenes from the Powder Puff game. It is a relatively peaceful school year, but then in March, student elections are held and no African-American students are elected. Hurt feelings ensue and soon violence erupts at Hillsborough High. Some will blame this fiasco on Principal Collins and ask for his removal but the school superintendent stands by the principal. Desegregation personnel are then stationed at HHS. Then another fight in the cafeteria brings police in riot gear to the high school. Hillsborough High shuts its doors on the press to avoid sensationalism, and soon things calm down and the riot-geared police leave the campus. The issues of equality and representation are embedded into the DNA of U.S. government. America continues to struggle with these issues. However, these students, like all Terriers, strove towards the great promise of American equality. Mm-hmm.
These terriers graduated at Curtis Hickson Hall. All right, my friends, take care of each other. Please subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my HHS videos. And as always, go Big Red.